Hello Earth Signs! I hope you guys are doing so so good today. My name is Alex if you don't know me and if you do know me welcome back to my channel. We are going to get right into it and we are going to start with Taurus. Okay Taurus, show me what's going on with Taurus. Okay, heavy Leo energy here. So we have the three of pentacles, which is like working together with someone. And then we have the queen of wands and the sun reversed. Um, I feel like you're trying to get some happiness back in your life and something is stopping it from happening. So I don't know if you're just like not working together with the right people. Overall, we have the world reversed and the hierophant reversed. I feel like there's someone here who isn't committing to you. So that, I mean, that could be... A literal romantic connection or that could be I mean someone who you're working on a project with which is very three of pentacles and they're just not putting in their fair share of effort right um, I do feel like you have unfinished business with this person I feel like there's something here that needs to be finished out I don't know why but I'm also getting jealousy I don't know what that's about because I mean I don't have any like tox toxic cards here so I don't know if some of you guys are dealing with friends that are jealous of you or something. I don't know. Tell me more about this situation. Just like, yeah, more Leo energy. Very interesting. So overall, we have the strength and the two of swords reverse. A decision needs to be made. I was kind of getting the same energy for Aqua, actually, in the air sign reading. Um, I was saying to Aqua, like, this decision needs to be a no-brainer. And I feel that same energy here with you. The strength card is here because you're going to need your strength to make this decision, but it should also just be a no-brainer. Now, making this, this decision may not be easy, so maybe that's why the strength is here. So I, I don't know. But in, this decision needs to be a no-brainer. Like, don't think too much about it. We have the Queen of Swords reversed here. We do need to set our boundaries with someone. We also may need to, like, tell someone off a little bit. Like, tell someone how it is. And then we have the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak. Could be third party. And we have the Hermit going within. Someone here is putting you in a position that's not fair to you. I don't have the justice card here, which speaks of fairness or something not being fair. But I feel like this person is putting you in a position that's making it really, really tough for you to uh, find that happiness that we were just talking about, right? And you're in Queen of Wands energy like we just pulled. So it's very interesting because you're in this energy of just like having fun, doing you. But then at the same time, with the sun reverse, your happiness is very delayed. This person is putting you in a very compromising position. Or situation, or group of friends, you know? Tell me more about this compromising position. Why, are, why is this person doing this to Taurus? Uh, they're keeping a very close eye on you, okay? I feel like they see you kind of moving forward and they feel like they're missing out on whatever you're giving to other people. So overall, we have the Temperance and the Page of Swords reverse. So definitely being stalked on social media. Um, they're also withholding information from you at the same time. So I don't know if it's just like them not telling you that they're doing this or them just not being very honest about what their intentions are but they're also in this weird energy of like divine timing patience but it's in a very sneaky way uh, like it's almost like finding the right moment to kind of strike we have the ace of pentacles reverse like i said this person doesn't want to really like miss out and they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They also don't want you giving these opportunities to other people or your resources to other people. We have the Eight of Wands here. They might just be like, 
I think they're planning on like coming in with some sort of offer or communication. And then we have the Ace of Wands. They're going to offer you some sort of new beginning. That's going to be very tempting, I think. Okay, and should Taurus trust this new offer? No. <laughs> okay. You know what? And I think that they're going to tell you that they want to build something really big with you with the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice. I also feel like they're going to tell you, I want to, I know I wasn't fair to you in the past. Let's, let's do, let's do this over again. I'm going to be fair to you this time. We have the Four of Wands reversed here though, which was the first card out. This is the marriage card reversed. Um... I think this person is going to tell you a whole lot. I don't think that they have actual intentions on withholding those or, you know, holding out for those promises or whatever I'm trying to say, you know. The Nine of Pentacles reversed is here, which is suddenly finding yourself not single, and the Seven of Wands. So you might find yourself in a connection that is not very satisfying because you're going to feel very defensive here with the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Okay, now what's coming next for Taurus? What's coming next? What comes after this? Three of Swords. Yeah. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat. She's hunting her toys. Dottie, you're fine. <laughs> okay, overall we have the Two of Swords reversed and the Seven of Swords. This person is very sneaky. I'm telling you, this person's a liar. And they're going to betray you. The Two of Swords Reverse came out again. Uh, this needs to be an easy decision. This decision is a no-brainer. This person, you know exactly who they are. You know exactly what their intentions are. Do not dwell on making a decision over this person. We also got the Three of Swords. They're just going to break your hearts. It's also more third-party energy. Um, maybe they're talking to other people. Just going to put that out there. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Seven of Wands again. You're going to find yourself in a connection that makes you feel very defensive. You're not going to be happy in this connection, I'm telling you. We do have the Six of Wands here. I think that you are going to be fighting for this person's attention. Because I do think that they're dealing with somebody else or other people or they're just not prioritizing you. But yeah, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um... I don't really, I, I keep, I asked what was next and they're not giving me anything different. So I think that you're just being warned. I hope that that helped. Um, let's go to Virgo. Okay. Okay, Virgo. On Virgo. Show me. I don't know why I said show me more. Tell me about Virgo. I guess they want me to get more, huh? Show me more on Virgo. Justice. Ooh. Okay, looks like the earth signs are being worn today. So overall, we have the king of wands reversed and the three of cups. Okay, everyone's in third party situations. Love that for everyone. Just kidding. Okay, it looks like you just had a major conversation with yourself. Ace of swords and the high priestess tuning into your intuition and having some sort of revelation, right? Um... I think that you have come to some sort of conclusion about a person. I think something just kind of dawned on you. Then we have the Nine of Wands here. I think that you're kind of ready to close out whatever cycle this is with this person. Whatever information you just come upon is... You were like, okay, that's it. If this hasn't happened yet, it's probably going to. Then we have the Justice here. So you are getting Karmic Justice for something. But 
letting this person go is very stressful to you. You know, I understandable, understandable. Um, okay. I think that you found out this person was talking to someone else. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, Virgo. What comes after this? What comes after this? You had your revelation. Now what? You know? <laughs> wow, I think you realize that this person is um, not who they say they are, okay? This person has a lot of options. I think you... Oh my god, okay. So we have Ten of Swords here. Betrayal. The good news is that the worst has already happened. So you can move forward from here. You can it's only up from here, okay? <laughs> so just know that. Move the seven of cups reversed, which is being overwhelmed by options, and the lovers reversed. Needing to make some sort of decision, needing to make a choice. Um also realizing that this love isn't what you thought it was. Overall, we have the Queen of Cups reversed and the King of Swords. Um The Queen of Cups reversed is not listening to your intuition. Like very, very basic description, not listening to yourself. And the King of Swords is someone who's very hard to get to emotionally. These two together also, I mean, Queen of Cups reverse can also be someone who isn't emotionally vulnerable. Just kind of like the feminine side of that could be codependency. I feel like these two together is just someone who is very, very unwilling to emotionally commit to anybody. Like not just you. It's like, it's not a you problem. It's not another person problem. Like this is a them problem. This is really bad. Like, this is very, very, very closed off. The King of Swords, you cannot get to him emotionally. And talking to this man is like talking to a brick wall. Like, um, at least about emotional stuff. Also, sorry if you heard my stomach grumbling. I am hungry. Um, yeah, I mean, you could talk to this person about, like, logical stuff all day long. Like, if they're a computer science nerd, they could definitely talk to you about that for like hours but when it comes to like feelings they're like no absolutely not i don't know why they're talking to other people i i think they're talking to other people because they just don't care you know show me more on this person jesus Oh, the Three of Wands was hidden under there. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords reverse, someone who was a bully in the past, and the Three of Swords. Um, heartbreak, more third party. Um, this person is just talking to other people to talk to other people. They don't care how it makes you feel. They don't care. They might apologize to you for it, but it's kind of like an energy of like, sorry it made you sad. Not, you know, sorry for actually doing something wrong. I don't think they feel bad about it. I don't think this person has, like, an emotional capacity to, like, feel anything. Very interesting. Um, we do have the Three of Wands reversed here, which is not being patient. Um, and the Death card here, which is transformation. Hmm. Needing to change. 222 on my clock. Overall, we have the Star and the King of Pentacles. This is interesting. I feel like this is someone else. This could be you having hope for things to work out with this person in the end. I, But I also feel like this is you having hope to just find someone new in general. Or, or that's the place that you need to get to. Tell me more about the star and the king of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, something is being hidden from you. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you have hope for this working out with this person who's done you so dirty, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out the way he, he, they're not going to come riding in on a white horse and 
be suddenly changed, okay? Um, they're hiding a lot from you, the Seven of Pentacles reversed in the moon. They have a lot of secrets. I'm telling you that right now, they have a lot of secrets. A lot. Um, we have the Nine of Wands reversed here, unfinished cycles, running in circles with people. Four of Wands reversed, no commitment. Eight of Cups reversed, returning to something. And the Nine of Cups reversed, wish fulfillment denied. Okay. Um, this person is dealing with other people from their past. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, so whether that's one person or 13 people, I don't know. Um, but they're dealing with people that they've talked to in the past. People that they've talked to before. And they're not telling you about this. This is someone that they've tried to plant seeds with in the past. This is someone that they've had. This is someone that they have an established relationship with from before. Um, yeah. Okay, and what's the advice? What's the advice for Virgo? Yeah, learn your lesson and dip out. <laughs> and what is the lesson? Setting boundaries. And the lesson is to let go of someone you know is not going to give you what you want with the Ten of Pentacles reversed here. I feel like you're trying to make this person fit. I drink a lot of coffee. Please ignore my shaking. Um, this person, I feel like you want the empire and this person can't offer that to you. It's time to walk away. Walk away from, stop trying to make people fit into this image that you've made up in your head, you know? The Hermit reverse. it's time to go within and really ask yourself, what is truly best for you? And it's also time to learn your lessons. And ha and ask yourself, why is this so triggering to you? Why do you keep staying? Why do you stay in a connection you know isn't working? Is there something from childhood that makes you act this way? Overall, we have the Seven of Wands reversed and the Ten of Swords, okay? So the Seven of Wands reversed is needing to set boundaries, needing to kind of like set your defenses up. And the Ten of Swords is betrayal. Um... This relationship is teaching you how to set boundaries and it's teaching you how to recognize red flags from the get-go so that you can just dip out and like find your true person, you know, because you do deserve that. And it's it's not going to happen with this person you keep trying to force into this role that you know that they can't fit in. You know that they're not capable. You know that they're not capable of giving you what you deserve, you know, and that's not on you. That's not your fault. That's their fault for not being able to be a decent human being, you know, and working on their own stuff. Yeah, Virgo, that's what I have for you. I know that wasn't the happiest reading in the world, but thank you for being here. And let's go to Capricorn. Okay. Okay, Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. Oof. I think you're turning a blind eye to something. There's someone that you're trying to set down roots with and um, you see how she's kind of like turning away. I don't usually get this with the Queen of Pentacles because the Queen of Pentacles is a badass. Like she can do anything. Paired here with the Temperance though, this talks about sobriety. Um, with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, refusing to look at something and the Empress reverse, feeling ungrounded. I think you're refusing to, <laughs> I think you're turning a blind eye to something straight up. I think you're turning a blind eye to whatever this person's actions are. We have the five of pentacles reversed in the star. I feel like this person triggers your abandonment issues and you have hope for the better. But I think that at the end of the day, you're turning a blind eye to this. Okay. I feel like you are the queen of pentacles. I'm not saying you aren't. It's just... Hmm. Okay. 
What are you, what is Capricorn turning a blind eye to? Up or down? Down. I think this person, whoever you're dealing with, is a bully. <laughs> I think they're mean. So five of swords and the eight of cups reversed. This person has come back from the past, so I don't know if you guys have just have... <laughs> You guys have cycles, have had cycles, but this person has definitely like spun the block a couple of times, okay? They're mean, the five of swords, like they just need to win. Like they don't come back for anything loving, they just kind of need attention or something, they just need a fight or something, I don't know. I mean the knight of cups reversed here, you know that they can't offer you the emotional stability that you're looking for. They are stuck in the past about something with the Six of Swords reversed, or that maybe you're stuck in the past. And then we have the Death card reversed, needing to change, refusing transformation. Okay, so what are you turning a blind eye to? I think this person is mean. I think that when this person comes back, you're kind of just focused on them. You're focused on them giving you attention just in general. You're not necessarily caring about what kind of attention it is. Because they're definitely not giving you any sort of emotional fulfillment. And I mean, there's two cards here that talk about returning to the past. Which is not always the best thing if you're trying to move forward in a relationship. Something here isn't changing. Something here isn't changing. Okay. Tell me more about this person. What does Capricorn not see? What does Capricorn not see about this person? Whoop. Got the Five of Swords again. I think you do see everything about this person. I think you know. Oh, I think you know everything about this person. So you just let them be mean to you? Okay. <laughs> uh, Six of Cups. All right, I don't mean that that sounded really bitchy. Um, I don't think you deserve it, but I feel like you keep letting this person be mean to you. So we have Six of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Why do you feel like you deserve this? Why do you feel it? Like, because clearly there's something from your childhood that makes you think that you deserve this. Who made you feel like this at the, like, who made you feel like this in the past? Like, I'm talking family members. I'm talking inner child stuff. Like, who made you feel like this? Who made you feel like you deserve this kind of treatment? Because you don't. I don't feel like there's anything mysterious about this person. You know exactly who they are. You have the necessary information. You know what kind of game they play. You know what they want from you. Overall, we have the Chariot and the Five of Swords. They're going to keep being mean. <laughs> the Chariot is just moving forward. Um, and the Five of Swords, again, is more bully energy. This person isn't... This, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I feel like you know exactly who they are. There's nothing hidden here. You've seen it all. So why do you stay? This person is mean person is mean. I don't know who this message is for, but this person is mean as hell. Okay. Um, why is this person coming back? This person that Capricorn is dealing with. Why are they coming back? Stability. They see you as someone with money. They see you as someone who can offer them some sort of stability in their life. Also, they want to be taken care of. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, it could be someone younger than you or less mature than you. It's the Eight of Cups reversed, returning again. They're, they see you as someone who's very stable, someone that can take care of them, and that's what they're returning to, that kind of comfort. We have the Moon reversed here, secrets being revealed, things bubbling up to the surface, and the Four of Pentacles reversed, needing to let go of something. Overall, we have the Knight of Wands in the world. I feel like they come in very, they, they come in super hot. Like, 
when they come in, it's very passionate. It could be very, it could also be very fun. Like maybe they just take you out on lots of dates, but then I feel like, you know, that fun kind of fades away and that's when they start to be mean, you know? They always offer you the world when they come back too. It's not just a new cycle that they offer you. They offer you the world. They offer you everything. I feel like things are bubbling up to the surface for you and that's why you're probably watching tarot readings about it. I feel like, I feel like you're almost at your breaking point. Like nothing's moving past just like short cycles. So I, I feel like that's bothering you. Anything else about this connection that you want Capricorn to know? Anything else about this connection? Uh, it's just more cycles. There's no intention for commitment here. I think that's just what they're telling you. I think they're telling you you're better off single, doing your own thing, staying in your own lane. Overall, we have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. So um, even after periods of like stagnancy or being by yourself, I'm, I don't really get stagnancy with the Hermit, but after just like not being with them, you know, after you're, you've been in separation with the Hermit here, they always come rushing back in with that Knight of Swords energy. Um, and the Knight of Swords is also someone who's very impulsive. So I, I feel like they always come out of nowhere and they probably feed you empty promises. We have the Knight of Pen Nine of Pentacles here, which is like happy single, staying in your own lane. And then I think these two came out together. I can't remember. We have the Emperor reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. There's no intention here on committing to you. There's absolutely no intention here on committing to you. I'm telling you, please believe me. There is no intention here on committing to you. The Seven of Pentacles reversed is not wanting to look at something. It's refusing to look at something. The Emperor reversed is someone who's very narcissistic, someone who wears a mask. The Seven of Pentacles upright is about planting seeds with someone, looking back on the past and seeing what worked and what didn't so that you can move forward with your life. They don't have that intention with you, you know? Sorry, I don't mean to sound harsh. I just don't want you to get your heart broken by this person again. Because they don't have any intention on treating you right. Okay. Anything else for Capricorn? Yeah, this person really throws you off here with the Two of Pentacles. You need to find balance again. Overall, we have the Death reversed and the Queen of Cups reversed. Uh, it's time. It's time to find yourself again. It's time to tune into your emotions. It's time to tune into your intuition. You know exactly how this is going to go down. You know exactly how this is going to go down. It's time to make a change, Cappy. Okay, Capricorn, thank you. And Earth Signs, thank you so much. I know those weren't like the happiest readings in the whole world, but I do feel like they were necessary to talk about. So I don't know who needed those messages, but thank you to everyone who stuck around. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos almost every single day. And thank you for liking the video and appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.